Hey everybody, welcome back to another quarter in Japan where you can get your daily dose of Japanese news from the host with the most, Papa Tikyo, here live from Tokyo, Japan. Welcome on back, everybody. Now, today I don't really have so much news as I have some introductions. Now, one of the best things about this new channel, Quarter in Japan, is that not only uh, are we talking about current events that are happening, but we're also, I'm also here to just introduce you guys to either cool stuff, cool places, and also just cool people that are related to Japan in some way online. And today I want to introduce you guys to, a, you know, a couple people that have been doing what I've been doing online, which is playing Japanese games in uh, with English commentary and basically studying Japanese while live streaming. In case you guys don't know, I have a Twitch channel where uh, I play video games, but also I try to study Japanese as well you know, playing either Japanese RPGs or visual novels or whatever. And today I've got four people here that I want to introduce to you guys, so maybe you can go and check out their channels and follow them too. Let's get into it, shall we? Bam! Okay, the first guy that we're talking about is, uh, his name is Cracky Reads, okay? And uh, Cracky Reads is, he doesn't have that many followers yet, but... He's a cool dude. He's living in America, and he's a translator of Japanese games. And uh, anyway, let's just play a couple, you know, like 30 seconds to a minute just to get a feel of what his stream is like. Here we go. What do you do? Do you just, do you keep going through life like it's normal? Like, oh, yeah, my face is, my face is normal. Why would you do that? Can you just fucking, like, do and make any other expression? Is that face even possible to have? It seems impossible. Oh like, God! The the way the mouth. Okay, okay. So as you can see, uh, is like um, Cracky is a guy who he doesn't show his face. He has this like computer avatar face that he uses, and most of the time, I'll admit, he's not really teaching Japanese. He's just kind of enjoying these games while hanging out with his viewers. Now. Take in mind, the reason why Cracky is on this list is not because of how many followers he has, but just how fucking frequently he streams, as well as how funny he is. Like, he'll just play these old-ass games and then dissect the shit out of them while talking to people. And uh, it's a very cool interactive stream. And, uh, yeah, you know, apparently he's one of my old subscribers too, he said, when I talked to him. So definitely go and check him out. Link's down below. Uh, and yeah, like I said, he, he's in America, he's a translator, and he's a pretty cool dude. Let's move on to the next person. Next person is this guy who we call, uh, Game Grammar, okay? Not Grammar Gamer, but, uh, Game Grammar. And he streams quite often as well. He mostly does, uh, like, you know, video games that are Japan-related, or, um, uh, like, you know, he's got Sekiro, Yakuza, Phoenix Wright, or whatever. And, um... You know, he says, uh, English, Japanese, we're doing it live. And this guy, he's basically just playing Japanese games uh, with English commentary. Let's take a look. My allergies are acting up. But I, I don't really, I'm, I'm not really conscious of, of how that's going to impact other things I'm doing until Okay, I'm... let's let's see him playing the game, though. ...about it again. Sumimasen, we're doing, we're doing Shoukyoho. <laughs> My favorite. The best way. <laughs> oh, I forgot to record. Wait. Oh. I've started recording now, but we didn't miss anything except for some stuff about Kansai Ben. But that's all right. We didn't miss any story because I messed up twice. So there you go. All we did was figure out which answers it is not with our Shou Kyo Ho. <laughs> Shou Kyo Ho. I love this word, Shou Kyo Ho. <laughs> Process of elimination. So the cool thing about this guy is that like um, he, when he's playing video games, He'll go through and he like he'll look up the meaning of all this stuff here. Now, like my stream is very crude in when it comes to like design and like how the stream actually goes. Like you can see, he's got all these cool animations in his stream. He's got the curved, the webcam thing, you know, that cuts off the 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 right angle corners. Uh, you know, he's got the cool animations for when he looks up stuff on the dictionary. Like the guy's pretty, you know, he's pretty covered. When it comes to his stuff, man. And uh, he does stream, like I said, frequently. I don't know where he is, though, if he's in Japan or if he's outside Japan. I just found him the other day. And uh, But anyway, like the quality of his stream is really good. And if you're looking to watch people play Japanese video games, he's definitely somebody who you should go check out. 
And uh, anyway, on to the next person here. We have on next on our list, we've got Japanese Quest. And uh, this guy is actually oh. a uh, he's actually a high school teacher in America. He was a jet for two years in America. Or I mean in Japan where he was teaching English in some countryside area with his American girlfriend. And after two years, he decided to come back to uh, America, get his teaching license. And now he teaches Japanese at a high school. And uh, when he's free at night, what he likes to do is he likes to play um, he likes to play Japanese games on a stream and then kind of teach people bit by bit. Now, uh, unlike uh, this dude, the uh, game grammar that we just saw earlier, this guy sticks to more really basic Japanese. Like he's really going for like he's playing kids games and he's going for like kind of the basic Japanese to teach people, which isn't bad. Um, because most of his people that are on there are beginners, but um, uh, you know this guy he inspired me to actually start playing more games in Japanese. I was gonna stop it for a while, but uh, he brought up a great point in his stream. I when I first found his stream, I was very offended because uh, you know he said uh, you know like I was like how could you be a Japanese teacher, but you don't live in Japan like you know and it's not because of that but I'm just like how can you love Japan so much that not only your daytime job but your side hustle twitch also revolve around Japan but you don't live in Japan like like I would never go out of my way to love a country so much like that and then never be there you know that's kind of like defeats the purpose it's like it's like really being into like you know, like Disneyland or something, but then you never actually go visit Disneyland or, or work there. You just like, you just look at from the parking lot and you, you have all these facts and stuff and p pictures that you found on the internet, but you never actually go in. But, uh, you know, like, uh, at the end of the day, Hey, if he's teaching people Japanese, like good for him, you know, like, uh, I think it's better than nothing, but let's watch a little bit of his stream first. Ooh, I like the words at the bottom. The first kanji I ever remember learning is this one, the kanji for forest. It's just one tree, two trees, three trees. That makes a forest. That was a pretty cool kanji. That was back when I liked kanji. Now I love kanji, but for a while I went from like, I liked kanji when I first learned them. So I was like, oh, that's fun. It's kind of like drawing. Then I kind of went to hating kanji for a number of years because uh, in class, Japanese class in high school and college just seemed too hard kind of hated kanji but then went back to loving kanji yeah as you can see like uh his setup is a lot better than mine too he's got like the whole words that he's talking about on the bottom of his screen he's got the chat here as well as his excel file where he keeps the words that he finds in the games to study and uh, I actually, I copied this from his stream too. And now I have an Excel file as well of words that I find, not just in video games, but in manga and everything else that I share with people that sign up for my Patreon. So um, yeah, that's one cool thing. Uh, again, like uh, this guy is great. I think that um, he streams not that often because school just started again. But uh, yeah, if you guys get the chance, go over and check him out. Um, you know, I still, what is it like? I still felt a little bit... Um, you know, off because he wanted to live in America. But hey, Cracky Reads also lives in America too. And I love that guy. And like, I don't want to be a nepotism guy. You know, I don't want to pick and choose. Like, you know what? At the end of the day, as long as he's happy and as long as he's getting more people interested in Japan, that's never going to be a bad thing. So hey, to each their own. And uh, yeah, dude, fuck yeah. Uh, last and not, not least, there's uh, Wasef. And this guy was actually hosted or rated a couple times by Japanese Quest. That's how I found out about him. Yeah. And he is, uh, he's like a V, a v YouTuber. Uh, he uses this cat avatar. And what he'll do is he'll play games in Japanese, mostly new games, like PS5, PS4, new games. And then he'll kind of translate in real time. And uh, he's a small guy. He doesn't have that many followers, but his current subscribers are actually pretty cool they're really chill and uh yeah he's got his own little community going on there and uh let's watch a couple let's watch a, a little bit of his stream and see what's going on entire internet i swear to god i've never met a person that is that like so like she wants to do something and she's just okay let's see what's okay. Ozaki. 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 Oza
主演あ主演や主演の席 Alright Yeah guys so like you know I'll admit his Japanese is still pretty pretty beginner level I, I think he said somewhere that he took the JLPT2 or JLPT1 already but you can tell it's mostly from like the analytical side and that's why he's kind of playing games now is that he wants to really experience these kind of games and uh you know and enjoy it and uh you know versus actually you know playing retro games or whatever but uh anyway yeah go check him out and uh yeah guys uh anyway that's gonna be it for my video today tell me uh what you think about these guys do you have any other guys that stream uh games in japanese let me know in the comments down below and like always don't forget to smash that like button to help us out with the algorithm and don't forget to follow us on social media over here where we have tons of different fucking shit going on over there and uh yeah yeah you, you better go fucking fall right now i'm looking at you i know i know what you're doing <laughs> but anyway i'm papa tikyo this has been quartering japan daily dose of japanese news thank you guys for watching stay black and i'll see you on the next one yeah buddy <laughs>